I'm Steve Wolf and I'm here with my son Paxton and today we're going to do a little experimenting to learn something about refraction with light. Actually not refraction, reflection. And it's something a lot of people get confused but they're really different. Reflection is when you're bouncing light off something and refraction is when you're splitting light up into the colors that it's made from. So what we're going to do now is reflection. Reflection also means thinking about things for a long time. I'm be quiet, I'm reflecting. Okay, I'm done reflecting. <laughs> now I'm doing experimenting. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna need to get a uh, relatively clear plastic container. We're gonna need uh, about a gallon of water, a laser pointer, these are some of my favorite things, a drill, and a small piece of chewing gum. I actually use butyl acetate, you know, because I'm cool that way, but uh, chewing gum works really well. So what we're going to use now is uh, a little bit of coffee creamer. I'm going to put some creamer in here, and this is just to kind of spike the water so that we can see it better. It's kind of hard to see the laser in the water because, you know, you really can't see light. Light's invisible. You can only see light reflecting off of things. So by putting a little bit of creamer in the water, um, we'll have some particles in there for the light to reflect off of. Now we've got that in there. I gotta take a drill here and <laughs> drill a little hole in there. <clears throat> there you go. And that hole is where we're going to have the water pouring out. But we don't want the pour water coming out right now. So I'm gonna take that little piece of chewing gum or butyl gum and just plug that hole up. Not going to be much pressure in there, so it's not going to take much to hold the water in. And now we'll pour in water, and we have to pour enough water in there to make sure that we have a lot of water above the hole. I can see it's very cloudy. It is. Oh, you know what? Not only is it cloudy, it's leaking a little bit. So I'm going to push that in there a little better. Okay. Looks like that's pretty nicely sealed there. We'll put a little more in because the more water we have, the longer this experiment can run. Literally, the experiment's going to be running out of the side. <sighs> now let's see what our laser looks like. And, you know, well, that's kind of cool. But I think if we turned off the lights, we'd have a little better effect. Will you grab that light sure. switch right over there? Thanks. Ooh, that's mysterious. Watch your step on the way back. Whoa. <laughs> Lab safety, right? All right, so let's take a look. Wow, all right, we can see that shining through there pretty nicely, right? But you can see the, water, the, the, the laser beams getting kind of spread out as it goes through here. What I want to find out is if we shoot the laser from this side to this side where we have the laser shooting right through that hole, will the laser continue to go straight? Or will it, yeah, or will it curve? Will it follow the water? So... Let's find, Let's find out. out. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Take Ready? I'm going to pull gum. off the chewing gum and three, two, one. Let's see. I got to hit that hole, right? You tell me if I, when I'm getting it or if I'm getting it. Sort of almost getting it. And almost. You're getting closer. Who knows what if I went in this way? Ah, there we go. Look at that. So I don't even need to shoot through. I can just light the light it up just like that. That is neat. And what happens if I bend this like that and point that right through the hole now? Wow. Look right at this. Is it really, is it bright? Yeah, it's bright. That's cool. So pulse that on and off. That's neat. If I put it sideways, look at that. Nothing. But if I put it through the hole, we are right on. You can even see it coming out. Wow. That is neat. Wow, I would sure enjoy seeing that if I was uh, in your class. Wow, that's cool. All right, Pax, will you turn the lights back on? Sure. Thank you. So what, what we saw there was the light, as it entered the stream of water, was trapped inside the stream because looking up from the inside of the beam of water, looking upside yeah. inside the stream, all the light sees is mirrors all around it. So it's like this tube of mirrors 
And as the light moves forward, all it can do is just bounce off the mirrors and wherever that tube of mirrors goes, takes the light with it. Pretty cool. I wonder how far that would work. What if we stood on a really tall building and, and <laughs> drizzled fun. water? What if we put lasers inside of fire hoses and then the firemen could see where the water was going at night? That'd be very, like, very interesting. You'd have to have a gigantic um, laser for that. Yeah, but it would be like uh, using a fire hose as tracer rounds. Yeah, you could exactly. actually see. That'd be but so then it cool. But some sort of creepy sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it might. You could use different colored <laughs> lasers. Wow. Well, this was really neat, and all we needed was a laser, a clear container, some water, a little coffee creamer, and a drill. chewing gum, and a drill, and we got it going on. That's a pretty cool demonstration. Very easy to do in your classroom. I think it'd take you about five minutes to round up the materials and uh, about five minutes to do the experiment itself. Fun thing for kids to see. You are watching Doables. I'm Steve Wolf with the Mighty Paxton.